You see, a friend of mine once told me that one day she sat down and thought about some of her exes. And honestly, she said she felt like vomiting because she asked herself, how did I even date this person in the first place? I think some of us have the same story. But here is a story about Empress Unjama and Bora Josh. Ex-boyfriend. The ex-boyfriend has been caught. This was um, a guy, a person, Jama, claimed he's got uh, her nude um, videos. And apart from that, uh, she said that this guy goes around doing the same thing, swindling other women who are perceived to be wealthy. Now he's been caught. You can see the pictures. This guy is still trying to smile. <laughs> and a lot of people on social media keep asking the question, how did a person Jama even meet this man? Come on. When you're in love, you're in love. Even this man, while this whole scandal was everywhere on social media, right? This man kept releasing videos, kept talking confidently, without fear, and didn't even deny anything he was being accused of. Is the confidence for me. According to reporting person Jama, you know, filed a case against him. He also told DSS about it, informed, you know, security operatives. And I think she's re she really, you know, was on it to making sure that they track him down. <laughs> This man has allegedly ruined so many women's life. Like, he goes for the big, top, top women. You know, blackmail them, dupe them, threaten them, collect their new pictures and videos and everything, started chatting with them with seeds. Finally, he has been arrested and he's currently at the um, Liberia's National Police headquarters. Finally. But then again, what I don't understand is why is he laughing? Why is he smiling or smiling in the police station? I don't get it. He seems so unbothered. Ha! Um, uh, it is, well, finally they caught him. He? About Destiny Etiko. Remember yesterday, right, we got a report um, that says that um, this lady granted an interview. They said this was Oak TV that interviewed her. That during the interview, she said, I mean, she's 33 years old, that she said that she is still a virgin. And Daddy Freeze really made this news trend. After Daddy Freeze went live with three other people discussing whether this lady was a virgin or not, some of you that watched yesterday's video um, on this channel would see the snippet of the of the video and you know this lady finally reacted to that calling out daddy freeze yeah because during that interaction daddy freeze guest especially one john actually said a lot of things about destiny ethical and i think destiny ethical obviously not even think obviously find it offensive in that interaction daddy freeze didn't really say anything negative to be honest about destiny etiko but he, i think destiny etiko just felt like this man forget this man this man just need attention that's why you know he just decided to make me a topic and everyone is talking about it just intentionally set me up for dragging and i also think that she watched that um john's um uh, what john said during daddy freeze's show so she felt really pained just because it was on daddy freeze's platform so she you know kind of abused daddy freeze now apart from that right she debunked it she said she didn't even grant an interview Hello. the evil adage you always say now mother you are not being up you only fair trouble go to sleep you younger go wake up we're gonna be here what is this nonsense anyway since yesterday i've been i've been i've, I've not rested though <laughs> About virgin, sequa virgin asro. I don't get it. It's I can't fathom it. It's it, it, it's quite unfathomable. I don't even know where they got the stupid news. 
and it's that's done on me that a lot of people are so insensitive and stupid foolish a full-fledged man not put a family man he put it to run in no set your ring lights at one day man now caught to i caught to to about to what you know absolutely nothing about did i grant any interview or did you see me write anywhere twitter instagram facebook anywhere that i'm a virgin i want to go number virgin i want to go number one okay did i tell you did i ever call you where do you people get this fake stupid news from and dollar and dollar who not showing you the chase the clout about destiny other people in this social media you didn't see you you did you this jobless thing you didn't see anybody you didn't you people didn't see anybody to call it is me no now you must call me now if you don't call me now it won't sell it won't be a, a strong content yeah no person that destiny is not not the double virgin whoever that said this i should have in my dialect that's what i'm telling you you're looking for who 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 to give title you did not see any other title you could have given me a better title now eh? you could have given me a billionaire a billionaire now eh? or soon to be billionaire man or autonomous autonomous eh? why are you giving me stupid title virgin no virgin no virgin no who need the virgin stupid people it's no able virgin granted we're going to win interview even um, that destiny Etico is a V. <laughs> First and foremost, how should they buy all those cars? Where should they buy? Uh -uh. Now that acting where they pay the hundred and fifty thousand per movie, she is by the cars. But me, I believe her. Like the phrase, you can believe anything you want to believe. Oh. <laughs> I believe in you, <laughs> but that's impossible, man. <laughs> no, no person like me that they like that kind of dirty life. But she, like, she's uh, anybody we talk, I'm not saying it's not possible that the friends no leave this thing where they talk. A lot of them just they talk with it, they won't talk. It, uh, whatever she does with her body is absolutely her business, it's not my business. But what I hate is when someone does something and comes and tell you it's called this movie making those that are actually acting that movie look like they are like they don't know what they're doing mm. there is no smoke without fire i'm not the one saying that the scandals a lot of people are saying it it's on it's, it's everywhere so let's not have scandals with married men blah 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 blah, blah. let's stop let's stop this if I'm the first person saying it, then uh, I'll be I'll be the person alleging that she 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 does. But it's 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 everywhere. It's what she is known for. You can't say it's what she's known for. She's known for being curvy. She is known for acting. Okay. She's known for endorsing products. I I don't know. I, I tend to this. I still you you have not said because that because there are rumors about me. But there are rumors that I'm gay. Huh? There are rumors. If you type that the free is gay, something will come up. Mm. You understand? So, because That's there are all this... I have not seen, unless somebody can prove beyond reasonable doubt that, okay, my name is uh, uh, John or Wale or Henry and I have have actually dated her and we've done it i don't think that if, are you actually believing that she's i is that what you're trying to believe in? yeah i as in i i, I want to that i is. find her believing her okay that if, let me ask you a question so you don't believe you believe that she is because you've not seen someone who has come out to say that he has done yeah. but you don't want to believe that she's not because you have not put your hand inside to check if it's true no, you see, you cannot. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, here we have news about Davido. A guy posted this on social media, said I finally saw Davido for the first time. Still can't believe my eyes. And people didn't even pay attention to the guy showing us the video. People are concerned about Davido's bodyguard holding belt. They were like, to flog who? Can you do this overseas? belt to do what but let's be honest there are some people who are very very stubborn i mean while davido was on stage we saw the, the footage of a guy who was trying to attack davido 
So fans can be really, really crazy, but at the same time, there's restrictions even while you're trying to protect a star. There's restrictions. There are certain things that you cannot do to a fan, especially in the developed world, but we are in Nigeria. Do I think that him holding a belt is appropriate? I don't think it's appropriate. I mean, that is why you are a bouncer. You could push them off. You could, you know, hold them. You could, and of course, you could have your belt somewhere, you know, fold fold it somewhere without showing it again this is nigeria where i mean anything goes moving on to the next one i'm, I'm actually surprised that people are you know shocked about this i mean just like it's a normal thing because i've seen it happen i have female friends that are strippers right they don't even hide this they publicly talk about their experience and all that and one thing is consistent in their in any time there's an interaction they always talk about how they pray before they go to strip so that they can make more money and I mean, I, you know, every time I'll be like, <laughs> you pray to God? Say, yeah. And when they pray, it, it happens. So I've been hearing this for, you know, for a while now. Like, you know, these people, whether you are stripping, whatever you're doing on the street, that is bad. Even thief, they pray. They, they pray to God. Say, God, I beg, make today operation go well. I think what is happening is your head in your head when you pray it convinces you that there's something spiritual something bigger that is listening to you now it might be the devil right but to you is god like i'm i pray i fast like do you know that sometimes when i want to go and also sometimes when i'm not seeing work i'll just pray to god i'll be like god you know i need to pay this bill i need like when, when you say when you want to go and also like go to oh, oh, wait oh, wait oh, oh, oh. wait uh, I, make i get something clear you say if the time when job no they come, that means hook up clients no they come. come you I go pray, pray I to go God. Fasting, I'll be like, fasting and prayer. God, like I'll be like, God, you know I'm your daughter. You know this is not what you planned for me to do, but mm. this is a also, and you created me. I don't have any choice, and I'm a, I'm someone that I'm, I have grace. I'm a favored favored person. Mm. Before the day ends, the day. they will just come in like, hey Duchess, I have a client for you. He say go pay five hundred, but if you see more, if you do any. No, if you do not, I'm like, ah, God, thank you. And I will do charity or whatever. I always do charity online as a tithe. I will never give my tithe to church. I don't believe in church. So you believe that this is God answering your prayer to go do a show? <laughs> Just pray to God in everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I think, um, is- um, left for, left for me, I, um, I, I'm not judging and I will not judge because mm-hmm. I, even the Bible say judge not so that, so that you, you will not be, not judged. be judged. judged. Yeah. I know what I want. I want to build an empire. What you guys don't know is instead of struggling as a girl, the, the easiest side also is prostitution. I'm not saying you should do that. Do you know that so, a night sometimes I make $5,000? Sometimes some men will not even sleep with you. They will just be saying, baby, just dance. Please call me for any party that men are there that are spring money. If they will suck or anything, I will do. It's not, it's only that back I don't do. Ah, people, which one is that back? <laughs> okay, moving on to the next news. Here we have um, the actor Bob Mano, who celebrated his birthday recently, by the way. Uh, he said that Nollywood ought to be greater than what it is at the moment. Unfortunately, the true potential of the industry is not being released. A lot of unprofessional activities are going on. Many half-baked um, prof- practitioners have invaded the industry. The real professional should, should step forward and take back Nollywood. It's got a point because these days, eh, 
you just see some you know instagram skit maker that just started getting attention in one the ones they call blockbusters and you just wonder because even the way they interpret the role it wouldn't be so so real even even though they are popular on instagram right you just don't feel like it's really it's not convincing the role given to them so i think everybody these days is just just want to make money you know in hollywood what am i trying to say um i mean if you put these skit makers a lot of their fans thousands of their fans will watch your 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 movies or buy your movies so that way you can make your money back so it's all about the money now and not really about delivery the the actors yeah there are some people who are doing a great tremendous job when it comes to interpreting roles moving on to the next one here we have skills um skills have already said this um talked about how olamide helped him and how timaya helped him i mean everybody's got a story though but skill story i watched the full video it's a very very sad one she, he really went through a lot and you know i mean likewise other musicians but the fact that he's able to bounce back after you know sharing the same stage with whiskey back then banky w back then you know i mean yeah, he was one of the top record labels back then and after he was able to share this same stage was given the opportunity to do that with these guys recording the same studio studio with these guys they refused to renew his contract because he wasn't making money for the company and i wouldn't really blame the company this guy went from that stage you know to living in the car no house nothing homeless that's crazy though i feel sorry for him and Timaya actually helped out guys let's watch this sorry i cannot uh, sorry you said you were homeless when you left you yes i was homeless how this was after your release man of the year now no no no, oh, no. This this before you before right, right, right. my first album was after I left. yes but after the, the first album was after you left no after i left oh okay no that so i missed up the timeline yeah so maybe the first thing that your first album was in EME. no it was, it was after, after you left. after i left yeah. so you didn't release any album while you were in EME. no i didn't release any album i mean i worked on an album yes which is the eme album yeah but i didn't release, you didn't release the album yeah. you were signed onto the biggest one of the biggest labels at, at that time, time yeah you had hit songs yeah. you were an it's kid how could you have left and been homeless it's not like we we're making crazy money. I mean, mm. I wasn't making money. Right. I won't lie to you. As at that time, I wasn't making money. Right. It was only banking and weeds. I mean, I used to make money, but it was not plenty. Right. So, and I was also a young chap. I was mm. still trying to figure out life. <laughs> you know me. You know, so I had just this this Ford Explorer. Mm. My house, most importantly, my studio. My studio is like my baby. Yeah. <laughs> so I have my studio inside there. Mm. I, I have my clothes, my shoes in the boots. I mean, I didn't have much because everything I had in the house was theirs. Mm. So I would just, you know, drive to anybody's house. Yes. There's my friend. Well, after I finish doing work, I always make sure I leave late <laughs> in the night. So after I finish doing work, I'll just, um, it was mostly to my, I'll just go to my car and pass out. The next morning, I'll probably pull up in the house be like, yo, man, I want to use your bathroom where I really have my toothpaste and my brush. I just go brush my teeth real quick. And, you know, I was, I was good vibes. So everybody wanted me around, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, mm. but I'd only, my, only myself and probably one of my friends, I knew what I was going through, but a lot of people didn't know. So one day, Timaya found out. And Timaya actually cried. He felt so bad because I was always with him. <laughs> I was always chilling. He didn't know, I I didn't was, know what was going on. Yeah. So when he found out, he was like, nah, nah, nah. He had this penthouse that he just doesn't use for anything. Right. He now told me to move in there. Right. And I told him my studio is like, move this is a music thing. house. We have three studios now. <laughs> because there was a studio in, at the backyard, mm. one close to his room, mm. plus my own now, three. So it was like, so I was there for some time. Then I decided to move. Right. And uh, yeah, that was a crazy time for me to <laughs> Why did you leave the label? Well, okay, let me just say the fact. I didn't, my deal was done, yes. Mm -hmm. But they refused to continue because I wasn't doing well that time, uh, <laughs> you know. Right. So, so basically, let me say I was dropped. Right. But we just had an agreement. Oh, your deal is done. We don't want to continue. Right. I was like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Was that heartbreaking? Man, yes, because I didn't see that coming. <laughs> you get me? Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I had plans. Mm. You get me? Mm. And but it was also a blessing in disguise because just a few months after that, my life changed <laughs> like big time. 
you know yeah guys moving on to the next one this one is very very sad um you know this a lady a shop was ransacked you know by robbers that's why some people don't pity robbers some people i've, I've seen people who tell me me I, I sometimes i still pity robbers but a lot of people these days who say they don't pity robbers because of what they've seen they don't pity them i feel sorry for you know this lady she doesn't even know what to do i believe that she's still in shock and just trying to you know understand what is really really going on with her life let's watch this <laughs> the clutter up is everything <laughs> see they cleared everything but when i relax i'm going to i'm going to sort out everybody no fear we'll sort out everybody we should just take um amoeba to sort you guys out guys i just got this report they said epis offers to freely to freely evacuate Nigerians from Sudan. So they told Nigerians in Sudan to go to a neighboring country that they will go there to pick them up because Sudan airspace now is unsafe. So you have to go to a neighboring country if you are in Sudan to use this um, airpiece flight. And this man is, man, it, the guy they tried, in 2019, he did the same thing during the xenophobic attack in South Africa. Well, shout out to um, the epic boss guys that is where i'm going to hold it thank you so much for watching like this video subscribe until we see you next time peace